closer I should have kissed you Your hair was longer I pulled away from you Moved to the city Over the Tappanzee Bridge You like the colors I can't see anything Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I decided to walk you guys through my morning routine. I've been getting my sleep schedule back to where I want it to be, so I wake up around 5 a.m., sometimes 5.30. First thing I do when I wake up is I immediately go to the bathroom and once that's done I just splash some cold water on my face to help wake me up a little bit more. I don't wash my face here because I'm going to be working out in a little bit. So after that I make my way to the kitchen to take my supplements which is a vegan D3 and a B12 supplement. I don't drink pre-workout every morning but I just really like the taste of this Alani new pre-workout. I've really gotten into the habit of making my bed in the morning, which is something I never used to really do, which I know is kind of bad, but it sort of sets the tone for the day in a way. It also makes me really happy because I like to set up all my plushies like they're a family or something. Aren't they cute? Oh my god. I'll be your sweater. Afterwards, I get changed for my morning workout. I'm wearing these leggings I got from Lululemon literally like six years ago. This sports bra from, I believe, Joa Brown is the brand. And this shirt from Forever 21. I don't know, she's pretty old too. I like to put my hair in a ponytail, then I braid the ponytail and wrap it around so I can secure it in a bun. For my gym bag, I pack a towel because I sweat a lot. <laughs> I pack my iPad, my water, obviously, and I also pack these Adidas weightlifting shoes that I got when I was 18 or something. I only use these when I'm working out legs, and I also wear my Converse sometimes if I'm working out legs, but I left them in my car. Then I slip on my other shoes and my mask, and I'm good to go. Red solo cups all over the floor, and your friends passed out, sleeping in that bed. You wanted us to hang out in. I've spoken about it before, but my favorite type of exercise is walking on the treadmill at an incline of 15 and at a speed of anywhere between 3 and 3.5. I've been re-watching Haikyuu for, god, the millionth time, I don't even know. The manga just ended, so this is my way of coping. <laughs> but yeah, I maybe watch two episodes of that. Then I will do some resistance training afterwards if I feel like it. I know it isn't exactly recommended to do cardio before resistance training, but I'm not working out with a specific goal or anything like that. I just work out because I genuinely really enjoy to do it. So I don't really care what's considered better or more effective or anything like that. I did a few more exercises than I showed, but then people started to come in, so I got really embarrassed and I stopped filming. Party, but you wanted me for a good time when you said once i'm finished i go back to my apartment to take a well-deserved shower this is me trying to angle the camera properly so this video doesn't get demonetized i've talked about my hair care routine before but i still get some questions about it and i just use this viral color wash shampoo and conditioner i either use the red one or the pink one and it just really helps keep my hair color vibrant because your girl cannot afford getting her hair touched up every single month Whoa, oh. I 
included my skincare routine in a different video so i'm not going to focus too much on that here but i want to show you guys this little device that i got and it's by the brand foreo it vibrates and i really feel it helps exfoliate my skin i love how gentle it is and it's also waterproof so it doesn't hold on to as much bacteria this isn't sponsored or anything by the way i wish it was <laughs> Once I get out of the shower, I finish up the rest of my skincare, which again, if you want to see it, you can go watch the other video. I brush out my hair, I brush my teeth, and that's the end of my hygiene routine, I guess. <laughs> Most days I don't really wear makeup or plan on really leaving my apartment, so comfort is key to me. I know some people kind of dress up or not really dress up per se, but dress normally because it makes them more productive. But I don't know, comfort is priority for me. If I'm uncomfortable, I won't be able to focus on anything. But something I've been doing lately is just spending some time outside on my balcony in the morning. My best friend Mary would do this when she slept over and I don't know, just kind of makes me feel a little bit better for some reason. I'm a morning person, 1000%, if you couldn't already tell by this video. So I also like to do all of my chores in the morning as well. First things first, I did some of my laundry and then I vacuumed the apartment a little bit. I got this cute little guy on Amazon and I just think it's so cute for some reason. I don't know why. All I need is 21 days and I'm fine. And you, everyone, I'm still need more time. Every single year, yeah, it never fails. I try, but maybe I don't ever want to put down this life. All I need is 21 days and I'm fine. And you, everyone, I'm still need more time. Every single year, yeah, it never fails. I try. But maybe I don't ever want to put down this life. Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac. Once all of my chores are done, I make myself a cup of tea. For this morning, I had some chocolate chai tea. I use this oatmeal cookie creamer, which is my absolute favorite creamer of all time. This Koya chocolate banana drink, and then some chai tea, of course. I then walk over to my desk and try to knock out maybe an hour or two of studying. If you didn't know, I'm studying for the GRE, which is just the standardized test that most graduate schools require for admission. I've been trying to study about four hours a day, and it feels so much better if I'm able to do like half of that before noon. Now you are someone I rely on You make me feel real Summer days that drift away As we lay in the field everywhere I'm still using the forest app because I love it so much and I like how you can set it so it counts any overtime you do so I had set myself to do at least an hour but I ended up doing almost one and a half so I thought that was pretty cool something else I've been trying to do every single day is write a letter to my parents I guess this is kind of my personal way of journaling maybe I just write around my day and how I'm feeling all the ups and downs and in-betweens, you know? <laughs> like I be crawling up. 
finally, I'm having some breakfast. The time I eat breakfast changes a lot, but I usually don't get hungry until later in the day. But this has been my favorite breakfast lately, and it's kind of like peaches and cream oatmeal. I just make my oatmeal the same way I always do, and then I cut up a peach or a nectarine, depending on what I have in the fridge. And then I add some forager cashew sugar, which I mix with a little bit of vanilla cream stevia and cinnamon. And oh my god, you guys, it's so tasty. I'm in love with it. Then I sit back down at my desk, and lately I'll either watch another episode of Haikyuu or an episode of Criminal Minds. And that's the end of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hated it, which I wouldn't blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down because that is okay too. If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!